Hello Pisces, it's Julia here to do a reading for you. This is going to be a general reading, so it won't resonate for everybody. Um, if it doesn't resonate, you could have a look at one of my other readings for your moon or your rising sign, or one of my timeless readings for some inspiration. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a goddess oracle card a power animals oracle card and some tarot cards and um, we'll see what we get as I said this is a general reading and this is for November Pisces <clears throat> so for Pisces what archetypal energies are around and a positive influence for Pisces at this time. <clears throat> and we have Sarasvati. Lovely. I think that's a Hindu goddess of the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. That's lovely. That's maybe like music, painting, dancing, all kinds of things. I was just thinking actually, I'm pretty sure I have a, um, like a decorative plate with Sarasvati on. Definitely Hindu goddess. So lovely. Express yourself through creative activities. Oops. So, let's see what we get for your power animals card. Spirit, what would you like Pisces to know at this time? Archetypal energies are around affecting Pisces life positively at this time. Whose energy can Pisces tap into to make positive changes in their life at this time? If you could give us some guidance, Spirit. Thank you. And we have giraffe. Foresight. You are able to see what is in store for the future. Wow. That's a bit high priestessy, isn't it? A bit intuition, third eye. Foresight. With the giraffe, it's obviously just because he's so tall that he can see into the future. <laughs> But I think for most of us, this is talking about some kind of intuition, really. <laughs> about listening and paying attention to the signs and the synchronicities in your life. So we've got express yourself creatively and foresight. You were able to see into the future, Pisces. Wow. I wonder what your cards are going to say. It's really quite sort of um, expansive and um, very open, isn't it? Yeah. So Spirit, what would you like Pisces to know at this time? What would be helpful for Pisces to know at this time? Swords 
Putting some time out for a rest. Being tired. Needing a rest. Needing some time to rejuvenate and to heal. It's kind of like a hibernation, isn't it? The tower. Something sudden. Something unexpected. Something dramatic. Something's just happened or is about to happen. Something to kind of upset the foundations of your life in some way. Let's see what else we have. The Eight of Cups, which sees you moving away striking out on your own, leaving things behind. Mm. It's like you needed to gather up all your strength to deal with something that was going to happen, which you're now starting to move past and move away from we have the six of cups currently some kind of nostalgic sentimental energy focus on friendships family looking back looking back to the past Sometimes wishing that things were how they were, feeling sad. Seven of Wands. <clears throat> feeling a little bit defensive, needing to go within. Um, not quite sure about what to do next, waiting, a pause, page of swords, maybe a message of some kind, coming your way, something somebody wants to talk to you about, somebody with a lot of ideas, somebody youthful perhaps. And finally we have the star, which is a lovely karmic card of wishes and hopes and dreams for the future. Generally a very positive card. Things coming to you, things that you would wish for yourself. What have we got on the bottom of the deck here? We've got the Eight of Pentacles, which sees somebody working really hard at something. Um, somebody having to juggle a lot of different energies, a lot of different things all at once. Um, kind of wait, there's a kind of waiting quality to this card of cycles, um, but definitely somebody burning the candle at both ends somewhat here. If we clarify these cards, as I said, there is very much a feeling here that you may have had to retreat somewhat and build up your strength. 
in order to deal with something quite big and disruptive in your life, a big, big change in your life, something that perhaps you've walked away from, something that you feel sad about. Kind of sad and defensive there may be somebody that wants to talk to you maybe here's somebody here who wants to talk to you so yeah it could also be that you, you're kind of, somewhat um, detached, feeling somewhat detached and somewhat alone within these cards, I think. I think in all of these cards actually here, other than the Six of Cups, which is looking backwards and feeling nostalgic, there's a female alone in all of these cards. And I'm thinking that that's very much how you might feel at the moment, Pisces, whether you're a man or a woman, but there's a lot of feminine... representations in these cards of, and a lot of females alone alone and somewhat detached from the world I would have to say in all of these cards as well in the four of swords the girl here is curled up and asleep in the eight of cups the female here has turned her back on things and is walking away. In the Seven of Wands, the female here is in the lotus position, meditating and so quite detached from the world. The Page of Swords, the girl here has got her head in a book and her head in her head and she's detached from the world. And the star... The female here is looking to the stars. She has, has her mind entirely somewhere else. Um, she's not really of this world properly. And also we have in the card that is hidden here, the one that's at the bottom, we have the Eight of Wands, which is another female with her back turned to us. So... Um, yeah, it's... There's quite a lot of very, very detached feminine energy here, which I think perhaps is how you're feeling, Pisces, at the moment. It's like you're having a firm sort of time out, really, from people. See, there's a fair amount of inner work going on here and quite a lot of detachment from other people is what it feels like. So let's just clarify these spirit for Pisces, please. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Four of Swords, which, as I said, is the girl curled up in the nest having a rest really is because you've reached the end of a cycle of something you've come to the end of a chapter you're tired you're worn out you've been carrying a burden for some time um, you're worn out basically worn out why is the tower here We have the Page of Cups. Hmm. Somebody perhaps emotionally immature um, has said something or done something that has caused a lot of trouble. 
that has that's caused a lot of bad feeling between people. I'm not really sure what at this current time. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Knight of Pentacles. So this kind of walking away into the unknown. But I think at a very steady pace. I don't think you're rushing or running anywhere. I think that you're taking your time and you're being quite methodical. And... Yeah, quite sensible actually here, I would say, Pisces, quite sensible. I think everything about these cards here that I'm seeing here actually is quite measured and quite sensible. Why is the Six of Cups here? You have the Six of Wands. So we have this sort of nostalgic, sentimental, looking back kind of quality of friendship. I think this is kind of wanting I think this is kind of wanting some kind of acknowledgement of that, wanting to feel that again, wanting for that to be something that's real again. To feel kind of validated by the security of that, of that feeling of family or friendship that you have. Or that you would like to have. Seven of Wands is here and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this kind of defensive kind of assessing reflective quality and we then also have the ten of pentacles which again is a kind of end of a a cycle as it's a ten um, but it's a completion of um, finances and security and material status and feeling comfortable having everything that you would want and everything that you would need it's a very sociable card actually which is quite different from it's quite different from the seven of wands energy here isn't it which yeah very much alone here very detached here, very inward, whereas this is very sociable and outward. Perhaps you're just needing a lot of time out from that world. Perhaps you're just needing a lot of time out from that world. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably what it is. I mean, you know, this this is not I'm I'm not entirely sure what kind of situation it is here that you've left, what kind of cycle has ended for you, what kind of chapter has ended, what you're moving away from, what you feel nostalgic about. Um it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, it could be a job. Um it could easily be a job here. Yeah. Could easily be a job. Why is the Page of Swords here? We have the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Maybe children involved in this. I'm not sure. But 
I see the beginnings of a new endeavour anyway, of you putting your energies into something new. For sure. Why is the star here? You have justice. Yeah. There is a feeling around these cards, actually, that whatever it is that's kind of suddenly happened to you, that you've you've turned your back on and you've kind of walked away from, was kind of unfair. Because it's something that you work very hard for. So there's definitely a feeling there that something was unfair. So yeah, I would say as this has come along with the star here that something's going to go in your favour. You've got some some kind of good luck coming towards you here. That something's definitely going to go in your favour. And on the bottom of the deck, for this deck of cards, we've got the Four of Cups, which I thought we had had before but no we'd had the four of swords hadn't we yeah but again it's kind of passive and um not wanting kind of not wanting to see what opportunities that there might be it was, it's a still a turning it's still a turning your back on things or turning away from things, refusing to look at things. And I've seen that energy here once, twice, three times, four times now, five times. So I think that's something to be aware of there, Pisces, is there may be something here that you need to look at, I guess. And perhaps that's something to do with the giraffe here, the foresight, is you're able to see what's in store for the future. Perhaps you need to find some way to get in touch with your, your intuition about a situation. Um, to get some clarity over a situation. To... Um, yeah, to get some direction, really. And with Sarasvati here in the arts, express yourself through creative activities. It could just be here as something just to say, you know, you need some time out, you need some hobbies, you need some downtime. You know, you need to express yourself in different ways you need to express yourself outwardly because as i said there's an awful lot of internal stuff going on here there's a lot of internal um energy and detachment going on here which, you know, may well be quite necessary at the moment, because as, as we can see here, something has happened that has caused, caused you to feel this way, I guess. Something has happened. Something's come to an end. And in quite a dramatic way, it feels like here... Yeah, and it feels very much that you might not be seeing, wanting to see the reality of certain things. You might not be... Um, you might not be looking after yourself properly here. It's quite possible. I think you're kind of avoiding 
Um, I think you're avoiding other people, you're avoiding groups of people. But I do see here coming to you quite soon some kind of change, you know, something um, your for fortune swinging more in your favour, I guess. some kind of justice some kind of of reward for your for your hard work some kind of new opportunity coming your way perhaps that's what it is some kind of new opportunity we've got two pages here and pages are often messengers um one a messenger of bright ideas and another one a messenger of pentacles, of real tangible things. Um, perhaps it would be important at this time to look up <laughs> and see if any opportunities are being handed to you. And... Um, maybe to turn around these were the cards that were hidden that were at the bottom of the deck perhaps that's perhaps that's what it that's all it is is you need to actually turn around and you actually need to look at any opportunities and that's that's your foresight is you have actually turned around and looked yeah there we go, Pisces. I think that's all I have for you. <laughs> I hope that was helpful for somebody. If you like my style of reading and you haven't done so already, it would be fantastic if you would subscribe and like and share my videos. It really helps my channel to grow. I think this is only my fifth month on YouTube and my channel is growing slowly. So it'd be fantastic if you would subscribe and like and share. But thank you for being here with me and thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I'm really grateful for all of you and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.